so my whole thing was a purpose to judge myself from the other side our country needs more leadership you know we need leader in every in a street in a city in a village in a district that will change thing all selfless leaders who could come without any agenda think differently don't if 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 there is a sweet shop everywhere it's better to have a chili shop <laughs> well, to have a different taste if you do the same thing you are actually you know competing with them so be different we in film making again we make movies only for our own community we don't do it for country folks so that should expand you know if our culture needs to spread if our goodness in the culture has to come out it has to be expressed through art most of your interviews have been sir about your musical journey and your uh, uh, career and uh, what you've been doing and basically what we speak to it through our listeners basically about uh, promoting entrepreneurship and philanthropy uh, the first question sir is uh, your story as an entrepreneur it's like you know you you started with very limited setup and from there you grow if you can relate to that and uh, possibly tell us your story and that's one uh, number 2 Uh, every startup or a company goes through a phase called pivoting right basically you start a business and you know then you reach some point and you decide okay fine this is not working out i'm going to change my business model and so on can a question in connection to that is have you ever changed internally your style of uh, composition or you know how you looked at the music and have you changed your style so just want to start with these two questions first okay so i started with uh, no ambition that i should be in the more you know industry or anything it was just like um i was offered from one of the the best directors mani ratnam ji a movie and i didn't want to let him down because i was a big fan of his and uh, so whatever i could do because i didn't and even didn't even know that i was capable of doing it so when that came out well and we got a lot of love and you know it spread in the north india it won awards naturally you know you i felt like everything's over because all all the stuff i know i've given to this movie then how do you sustain so then, so then you work with different people and you would work with different people their choices are different their uh, needs are different so you change according to them so my whole thing was a purpose to judge myself from the other side like yeah. what does the listener want what does the listener want what did you like about it and if it's easy like if he is saying the same thing which i you know intended to do then it's the same thing if he intends different and you're surprised to know something sometimes you know how people are influenced in a different way but what you told about one took for i don't even remember the music <laughs> yeah, well remember a couple of songs khamoshiyan and uh, osaka maria yeah other songs i don't remember i have to listen because once i finish i just want to move on so that i go on a new plane so it doesn't influence me i don't repeat the same thing and uh, my in my life i think all the things were constructed to just enhance what i was doing so that if i gone to a saturation point at one particular style or anything i would want to go to something else so that it will trigger me um to do something else and that's a different uh, challenge and then through that challenge some some of the product comes out and whether it's me moving to you know doing more hindi movies or whether meeting analog over and trying theater when i was in the prime you know doing 12 movies a year in 99 2000 moving away from that to you know learn something else or you know try something else or going to hollywood and and doing for the past from 2009 to you know 15 working there is always a learning process like what else is there and how else you can bring back that stuff give it to your own people or take something which is beautiful here and also complement that to the best and out of this necessity came even the school because i felt like we have an orchestra and that orchestra is getting old so which is the next generation there's no next generation people are giving up music so at that point i felt like i should start a school music school and conservatory and also felt like who will be dedicated in playing and committed to playing music and spend not like a hobby but for bread and butter so i felt like you know training under privileged children would bring you know Uh, make them cross the social barrier economic barrier and give them respect and give them a you know uh, a job 
and they will inspire and now every other state almost like three four states came and asked me can you start the same thing here can you start but do i have the energy is my problem <laughs> i have to check with my sister that i'm not going to travel i got to head because she runs that thing. and uh, so we started in nagaland also now so we adopted a chair you know um orphanage and then we're teaching and the kids are already playing beautifully in in a year span very musical the children of nagaland so this is it i think is always uh, the necessity of of trying to be on the other side and and check is it boring is it good is it how can else can how else can you express yep and uh, one of the uh, uh, top entrepreneurs i think i think it's jack ma uh, he made a statement that uh, uh, in the next generation the next century right uh, most of these traditional jobs are going to be replaced by ai and you know new tech and all that stuff and he was referring that uh, uh, if i were to advise what my children to learn it it was to be for sports and music in you know, extracurricular which is what uh, could be relevant for the next for this century right so what are your thoughts on that and you know how important is it for kids to learn uh, music yeah i think the last century is all about government jobs and you know study stuff but this particularly india has to a lot a lot of catching up to do in creativity in art in yeah. leadership and if you look at most of the ceos in the west they're all indians yeah they are they are you know, you know making billions for other people whereas yeah. our country needs more leadership you know we need leader in every in a street in a city in a village in a district in a state and you know that will change thing all selfless leaders who could come without any agenda and who could yeah. turn you know uh, make uh, perish poverty you know yeah that is the biggest thing like how can you make lives uh, better for people rather than gambling on their poor people's lives and putting them into misery i think that should be the vision for the for the next generation leaders how can we make human life more livable for people because we are all connected and our souls are connected in other realm we are all connected with the souls and uh, if we can be considerate toward the underprivileged or you know make sure that there's enough food to eat for people because there's so much wastage happening and again we can talk about climate change as a whole new chapter and all this stuff so i think i feel that the the next level of thing is to make leaders out of your own family yeah and make them a leader when, when they're born and when they put this in the in the year that become a selfless selfless leader serving your community saving your you know your street or serving your city or make things better stay away from corruption and uh, be a visionary because you can learn so much from the world i think india is a very blessed place it's a very spiritual place above you know all the materialistic thing above all the conflicts we all believe we are all spiritual and we have empathy we have uh, kindness and there are a lot of temporary struggles we have but i think we'll go towards the purity soon and that's one thing i feel like uh, leadership in art leadership in building new places where it's considered you know environment friendly self sustaining and uh, pollution free and also we in film making again we make movies only for our own community on their for country so that should expand you know if our culture needs to spread if our goodness in the culture has to come out it has to be expressed through art through film making through you know even i'm doing a virtual reality experience called uh, lemas which is about a different way of storytelling with uh, all the sensories and so musical sensory you know experience which uh, what what is that uh, what what is it could you elaborate that a little more in 2015 uh, i think you know i was crazy enough <laughs> to say okay i'm going to do the first 3d virtual reality experience and then it started like a joke like not like a joke and everybody got into hey that's cool let's do it and intel came in you know the technology partner and all the stuff and then i had this cast from international cast you know the leading lady is french she's called nora arnazidar people from armenia and then italy and england all this whole um, so we have the premiere i think is this year hopefully and we'll we'll tell about it quickly so yeah. it's an experience it's a you have to put the hmd to see what it is or feel what it is experience okay Uh, the next question sir is 
have you ever faced a setback? I mean, people only see the tip of the iceberg, which is the, you know, you winning uh, the awards and, you know, accolades and so on. But then have you ever faced a setback during your career? And uh, did you take a step back to reinvent yourself or something? No, have you faced that? Setbacks to come because uh, I feel like everything is a blessing. You know, setbacks are a blessing because you are in the forefront sometimes. Sometimes you go back because the choice of the movies or the movies which you thought is going to come out won't come. Hmm. And uh, it's in a way, I think, I feel like um, a chance to see other talents shine and uh, newer people have things. Sometimes it's good to go away and watch the world. And uh, so you can't do that voluntarily. It's God's way of doing that stuff, I feel like. So everything is orchestrated. So you just relax and when that happens, I also feel like you have time, more time with your family, <laughs> you can travel, you can learn. So you need time to learn. Without learning, you can't keep sustaining for like. For me, if I sustain for 20, 29 years, it's just because I have those time where I can go back and, and start learning new ragas, a new way of expressing, new philosophies, new way of approaching songs and all this stuff. So Amazing. everything is a blessing. No, I mean, that's amazing. And that's very much evident in every uh, song that you come up with. I mean, uh, that's cool. And uh, your next generation, are they excited about taking your uh, idea of music schools forward or uh, would they, are they looking at setting up their independent careers? So how are they planning in terms of continuing what you've started? My children, um, yeah, I think it's a lot of pressure, you know, being my children, but they are all, they have the spiritual sense, which, you know, our family has. Maybe. So that way we are, you know, united in that way. And the belief system is the same where we feel like everything good and bad comes from God. And the bad is because of, you have to refine more and you have to correct yourself. And the good is because of the mercy of God. And I mean, the, yeah, I think for them, I felt like uh, I know that we can never predict what they should do, but we can we can see by the, by the interest and we can just propel or complement their vision. So I asked them, what do you want to do? So, and then I said, what, I think this is what you should do. And then if both coincides, then it becomes success. Then I have to go towards, for instance, uh, last year, we uh, facilitated a workshop from international director called Mahatma Bas, the Iranian director, mm -hmm. and through a foundation and with a lot of kind people helping. We had a course for 30 women across India, from Kashmir to Kerala to Andhra Pradesh to, you know, and they learned about directing. Those women have to tell stories. And so my daughter was also involved in organizing stuff, Khadija. So in a way, they also know about what filmmaking is. My sister was part of it. And that way, I think, you know, they want to become storytellers. It's mostly from the male perspective. I think from a female yeah. perspective, it'll be interesting to see movies which they have a different sensibilities they have different idea of life and they have their own audience nice nice and is any of them very interested about the the music conservatory uh, the uh, the plants that you want to expand all over india right uh, is any of them interested in taking it forward my elder daughter is part of the you know foundation so she okay. coordinates for the sunshine orchestra that mm -hmm. whole thing we do with the kids who play the orchestra is part of it. Second one just finished college and uh, Amin is doing his, uh, what is he doing now? <laughs> he also finished high school. He finished his high school now. I think the time he, from a little boy to a teenager and to a young man, you need to give, I need to give them time. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And uh, you spoke about spiritualism and spirituality, right? So I just wanted to understand from you, sir, uh, about the role of spirituality in decision making and uh, uh, from your perspective how that would help uh, any entrepreneur who's running an active business how can spirituality be uh, a relevant uh, like a catalyst it's, it's very personal because for instance did anybody know that there would be a COVID thing did the Olympics committee know that there's going to be a COVID thing such a huge thing got postponed by yeah but it's, I think it's a divine will and somewhere you need to trust that there's a force beyond us. Hmm. 
and uh, so each one of us personally we have a different way of expressing that and so for me i feel like uh, any decision i take i try to see what um, inspiration you can derive from the infinite and the creator most of the time it, it seems to be the best solution because what you see is there are many theme things and many things and you would not know like you you make a choice and then oh said oh my god i didn't know this would happen so you should be like 50 50 prepared for the good and the bad at the same time be very positive about it like even if it happens okay let's see what happens so rather than oh my god oh my my whole life is gone because it's got cancelled or so you have to keep moving and there will always be you know that's human life yeah and uh, you you touched upon uh, philanthropy uh, would love to know more about the aramon foundation and uh, what your uh, thought of philanthropy is it is just about donation or is it about also spending time uh, would love to know more about it our staff is empowering people with knowledge and leadership so not just uh, you know feeding them because feel like it's like the fishing rod you know don't give them fish fishing give them a fishing rod and uh, that way you know each one can come up in in life and that's i mean in our own little way we've been doing stuff etc and um, so that keeps us engaged constantly and also the idea of giving always is more therapeutic than taking sometimes yeah yeah so when you see somebody who's been sponsored by us who's who's making it in life that they're pulling up the family that's the best thing which we can have you know uh you said knowledge and learning right so uh, is your most preferred course when it comes to philanthropy is it education you support uh is that your course yeah i think mostly i think that is our motto to educate and empower okay. and um, other than that of course you know when there's adversities like covid or you know, yeah. floods and all the stuff uh that naturally that happens and we do concerts sometimes okay. but mostly this is the motto of the foundation is to empower bar no religion no caste nothing everything is not human is a human and uh, sir regarding startups right you seem to be actively invested in star- uh, in startups like qki maja you know a, a couple of startups that you invest in is it a love for music or innovate music that really brought to startups so you are looking at startups as an asset class and you want to you know actively get involved in it i think i'm more like a mentor for these two okay. you know for qq or um, uh, maja so that good things could happen and uh, keep, keep telling my thoughts like why don't we do this why don't we do that other than that i think it's just that just like a mentor right yeah but uh, otherwise you don't look at investing in startups at all you uh, stay away from it my main thing is like our um, energy is as a human is limited and then you need yeah. to put that in the right places because if you if you use that everywhere then you won't be good at anything <laughs> so your core is music my core is music the core is uh, now also we're making films now we did just finished mandy line song we released it's on netflix sir uh, uh, last question is what are your uh, core values and also one loaded question that i want to ask you how important and sustainable is it wealth creation amongst the artists i uh, just want to know your thought process from both these things i think integrity is very important and uh, because as a leader you being integrity you you doing what you say people should do is very important you you can't be another person and tell people to do something else you have to follow that yeah and um, and value humans you know don't treat them differently this is my, this man has money this man doesn't have money or everybody's input i feel always is spiritual more than you know what um, salary they get or, or what status they are in i feel like um in the eyes of god everybody is equal and you don't know who is actually bringing that spiritual energy or the wealth to an institution so respect everyone and and then be think differently don't if 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 there is a sweet shop everywhere it's better to have a chili shop <laughs> <laughs> you have a different taste if you do the same thing you are actually you know competing with them so be different and yeah have your own yeah. personality yeah and my last question was 
uh, how important is it for artists or uh, entertainers to create and sustain wealth? I think it should be enough so that you don't do unnecessary things and you don't have to worry about that. And not too much or not too little. I think the moderate way where it motivates you to work more and you don't have to worry about, you don't have to have home troubles, you know, where people are afraid that you, know, you might lead them into the, the road. <laughs> so, yeah. Great, sir. I think that's it from my side. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, hopefully, when you're next time in Chennai, would love to, and if the COVID is all over, would love to catch up with you face to face as well. Uh, but really great talking to you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Have a good day. Cheers.